when I got involved in the movie business, starting uh, uh, on fe uh, serious features, it was about 1979. They, they weren't all so serious, Richard. Right, exactly. <laughs> but prior to that, I only did zany comedy. That's right. Right. But when you got into the serious. Yeah, things, yeah. Right? Uh, starting with, um, with Star Trek, the motion picture. Uh, anyway, what they did in those days, they had this, uh, the sound uh, sound branch of the Academy would vote for the films that they thought was the best sound editing of that year. Right. And then it was, I think, seven films. Right. And uh, what you would did is the, the supervisor of that show would, would cut a, up to a 10 minute reel of the best sound, uh, well, in this case, sound effects sequences in the movie. Then we would all go down to the Academy, all the uh, uh, both the Academy members in the sound yeah. branch. Both they would the all be screened. Yeah. Right, both the mixers and the sound editors N and, now, and engineers, everybody. Now, allegedly, you nicknamed the evening and it actually became adopted by them for the official name of it. You want to tell that? Yes, that's right. Right. Well, let me just finish first. So yes, we no, run please, the we we we'd run the ten minute reels, and then they would vote for uh, top. Was it top three initially? I think the it used to, in the earliest iteration. I think the top three, yeah. and then they would say, "Do you want to run those cat reels again?" And everybody would go, "No, no, it's okay. It's <laughs> yeah. getting late." It took a long time and everything. Yeah, right. Yeah. Because and also you you introduced your piece and you could say, "Now what? Be sure to watch the area where the man's head explodes or whatever." Yeah, exactly. The anyway, giant robot. <laughs> right. So. Um, so anyway, then they would have a second ballot where they would pick the, the, the winner. The actual winner, yeah. yeah. Right. Now, that film was not an automatic winner of an Oscar statuette. It then went to the Board of Governors of yeah. the entire Academy, the which of course is, has some people from the sound branch, but people from all the other branches. And if they deemed it uh, a worthy film um, that fit their concept then it might then they might vote for it to get a special achievement oscar yeah and so it wasn't done every year i remember one year um altered states was up yeah which was a very psychedelic kind of movie and there was some question as to who did these i'll call them weird uh abstract sounds yeah yeah was it the sound effects editor was it the uh, mu music department it was unknown. Um, various people claimed that they did it. So the Academy just decided that it was a kind of would have been a kind of a minefield. So they did, they didn't give it that year. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. And then, but anyway, starting in for the films from 1982 and 1983, uh, I will plug myself. Uh, I, along with Steve Flick, we, we were up for uh, Poltergeist, the original Poltergeist. And we were up, uh, they, they came up with this regular award, or I should say semi-regular award because you still went through the same process of, of having, watching the movies. And, but at that point, the top three films became the nominees, though yeah. you had to get over a certain number. Yeah, it was like over over eight or something. Eight, eight, yeah, eight or eight point five out, out, of of 10, out of 10, yeah. out of 10, yeah. So those film that those, up to three films became the nominees. And so that was the first year it was a regular award and not known ahead of time. The special achievement awards were known ahead of time by the Academy. And so there was no like uh, also rands or nominees who, you know, didn't, it came and so they just announced it. But there were a couple instances where only one film averaged an eight or better or got like a nine. Uh, whatever yeah whatever the cutoff yeah, whatever was. the cutoff was so they 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 recommend it get a special achievement award which was debated i mean it usually did i you remember the the river was they had to fight for it i think do you remember right that? right that yeah. year the the river won it meaning it was the and it was the only film uh that averaged to, yeah it, it it definitely yeah. won the voting but it didn't it didn't average over 8.5 or 9 or whatever yeah. the, the the minimum was 
So the Academy was decided that they weren't going to give it because that was the rules. Yeah. And so the sound branch, we all circulated a petition saying that Kay Rose did a great job and she should not to mention the fact that she did a great job for her entire career, but um, yeah. that she should get the award. So uh, they relented and the river won the war. Right, right. But, right. but and the to... thing you, by the way, the thing you were alluded to yes, earlier, please. I wanted to finish the sort of history of the war. Yes, yes, go back to that. Um, right. We, at one point, we, we didn't, we, I can't remember if there was an official name for this uh, when we all got together and screened yeah. these films. But it was which... really like our, our own little event because all the supervisors are there. We all get to talk to each other and have cocktails and then we screen this. Right, know, right. Yeah. And they it was had. Fun. The, Right, and they had like little uh, hors d'oeuvres and drinks. No, yeah, I don't. I don't think it was alcohol, but anyway, we yeah. had, we had coffee and punch and stuff yeah. beforehand, and it was a great chance to kind of come together and meet, see all your old friends that you hadn't seen in a while. Yes. So anyway, but we'd go, and I, it kind of reminded me of the Pillsbury Bake Off, which you know you'd go and you'd enter your. Uh oh a county fair where you'd enter your pie or muffins or whatever <laughs> and then the judges would sample them and and um, say that you know mrs johnson from sedalia illinois <laughs> is the winner of the muffin category for this year so i jokingly called it a, a the bake-off because it was like that and um because we never really had a name or at least if they had a name it was like a really long cumbersome thing you know yeah um like like the Borat title issue. Yeah, exactly. so everybody somehow say. adopted that term, right? Somehow yeah. adopted that term for uh, the movie, the, the, yeah. this thing. So the Academy began actually calling it the Bake Off, and That's then later right. they they also used the term for the visual effects and the it, makeup, it grew to, which all used the similar, the same, the same process. Yeah. 